everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a autumnal H&M haul. So I know I'm probably a tad early getting autumn clothes, but I'm just getting so excited. Today it's been really nice weather, but all of last week it was so like rainy and grey. So I really felt in the autumnal mood and I thought I would go on H&M and see what they have in. So a lot of these clothes are actually from the new in section. So it's basically what's new in H&M. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you're wondering who this little bundle of fluff is down here, this is Nala. She is my cavapoo, she's two years old. Um, and you'll probably see her throughout this video. So now I'm just gonna show you exactly what I picked up for autumn in H&M. Very much looking forward to getting into these clothes and showing you what I picked up. So the first thing is a little dress. Maybe I should have got everything out of the wrapper before I started. But we'll, we'll go with it. I'm going to try everything on as well, so you'll be able to see a clip of me wearing everything after I've popped on. So the first little dress is this gorgeous little checked dress. It's got sort of green, beige, and like dark grey stripes. Now it doesn't feel like the best quality material. It's quite light, but maybe that will be great for sort of layering. So it's just sort of a straight skirt here. It's just a really cute little dress. It's actually got really puffed sleeves as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But the arms are elasticated. So they'll kind of look a bit puffy. And I thought this would look great with like a camel coloured coat, some tights and some chunky boots. I think that'll look really cute. So I'm going to try that one on next and see what that looks like. This is the little check dress. Um, it's really tight. <laughs> so please don't comment on how awful it looks. Because I know it doesn't look great. Um, it's... A nice colour, it looks okay, but just on me it doesn't look very good at all. Um, it's really tight, it would definitely need a bigger size in it. I think it would look lovely with tights, but definitely on someone else. Not on me, so I'm not going to keep this on for too long because I actually think I'm going to burst. So to go with the dress and a couple of the other pieces I picked up, I actually picked up some black boots. So the look I was going for was kind of those like combat style boots. I was kind of looking for some sort of more grungy black boots. So I picked up these ones from H&M. Now they have more of a chunkier sole than I would usually go for. Um, and they have kind of a military combat style. And um, they're not real leather, they are faux leather. And they have this pull tab at the back, which I actually really like, and they've got a size zip. So I'm gonna have to see how I get on with those. They're definitely more grungy than I would you typically go for. But I definitely think in the sort of autumn winter months with dresses, these kind of boots look really good. Um, so hopefully they look nice. So I will show you those as well. So I picked these up in a size four and it doesn't tell you the price. I'm probably gonna link everything down below if I can find it still. So that was the pair of boots I picked up. So the next item is a black jumper. Now I kind of primarily bought this to go with a skirt I also picked up. So I'll show you the jumper now. It's quite a thin knit little jumper. It's got a v-neck here um, and long sleeves, nice little cuffs on the end, and it's just sort of standard, standard jumper size. Um, so a little black jumper, not much more to say about that. It is really thin, I thought actually it might be a bit thicker than it is. Um, so I'll have to see how that looks on. I got that in a size medium. And this is also from the H&M Conscious range. So this says it's 50% recycled polyester from post-consumer waste, so that's actually really good. Um, a little bit like my mango haul actually. If you didn't see my recent mango haul, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. I picked up a few items from Mango's Conscious Collection, like, like this dress actually, I picked this up. Um, cute little white cotton dress. And this is obviously H&M Do Something Similar, so it's more eco-friendly. Okay, so the main reason I got the black jump was to go with this next skirt. So I'm kind of a bit leopard print obsessed at the minute, I don't know if anyone else is. If you've seen any of my recent hauls, I've probably got a bit of leopard print and everything. I'm gonna have basically a whole leopard print wardrobe, but I don't really care. Um, so this is a leopard print midi skirt. Now I'm only five foot three, so I've never really been able to wear midi skirts, but I always think they look fab, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this one a go. This is leopard print, it's just got a um, waistband, it's not elasticated at all, so hopefully this fits. Um, it's got side zip, and it is just a midi skirt. There is a slit somewhere in this, <laughs> and, and you'll be able to just see this better on in a minute just looks like a bit of leopard print material I'm hanging up but in my head this outfit looks great so hopefully in the next clip I will again show you what this looks like with a little black jumper um, I thought this was a really versatile piece to wear in the autumn and like kind of now going into autumn because you don't need to wear tights with it but obviously then when it gets a bit colder you can put tights on and you can just wear a really cute pair of boots 
And I also have a lovely sort of beigey jumper, which is like a, a high neck um, from Selected Femme, which is another great brand that I love. And I think that'll look really nice tucked into this, sort of in the warmer, definitely in the cooler months, because that's a really thick jumper, whereas this black one's quite thin. Okay, and this is the little leopard print skirt with the jumper tucked in. Um, I do actually really like this, however the skirt is too small, I can't even do it up at the back. <laughs> um, so I would definitely need a bigger size in the skirt. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with H&M sizing, I am all over the place. Sometimes I'm a medium, but mediums are too big, I'm a 12, I'm a 10. I do really like the skirt as well, it's quite a nice length on me, I think with some training, this will look quite cool. Um, or some little black slip-ons. Um, yeah, so that's basically what that looks like. Obviously I could have this untucked, but I definitely think it looks better with the little jumper slightly tucked in. Um, this is a cute jumper, it's kind of loose, but because it has the cuffs on the arms, um, it fits nicely there. It's just got a quite a nice baggy feel. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think of this outfit and whether it looks okay. Um, but obviously I would need a bigger size in the skirt if I was to keep this. So that was my first leopard print piece. There's three leopard print pieces in here. So uh, stay tuned, if you don't like leopard print, click out now because you're not going to like this haul. Um, so another item, I'm going to quickly show you an accessory. So I bought a little black bag. Now this is just a standard black sort of camera bag, you'd probably describe it as. Uh, I've seen a lot of these about recently. This is just really super cheap and simple. Um, and I just wanted a little black bag to wear across body. Um, perfect for going on walks and dog walks and things like that. It's got loads of pockets and it's a really great, really great size really for just loads of different bits and pieces. Um, it's, it's got gold hardware and it's sort of just like a nylon-y fabric. Um, it's very plain, very simple. Um, it's got more of an interesting strap. It's got a nice thick strap. I just thought this would be really handy, really versatile piece to wear. So I'll probably pop that on with a few of the outfits as well. So you probably will see that throughout the video too. Oh wow, I know what these are. So I don't own any loungewear, which I know some of you are probably gasping right now. But I just don't really, I just normally just sit in my clothes all night. Um, which is fine in the summer. But actually the past week, nights are drawing in. It's getting a bit darker and a bit cooler in the evenings. I've just been getting into my pyjamas and I thought it's 7 o'clock at night, I can't be wearing my pyjamas this early. So I thought I would get some loungewear. So I saw this really lovely set on H&M and I thought I would pick it up and see what it looks like. So these are sort of camel coloured ribbed knitted trousers. Now they are got, sort of got a wide leg so they're probably going to be a bit too long on me. So I might have to take them up. But I also got the matching little sweatshirt as well so I'll show you what these both look like on. But they just really comfy material, really thick. They also had it in grey, which also looked nice, but I kind of thought the beige was just a bit different for me. Um, and just for like wearing on the weekend, like on a lazy Sunday. I'm getting so excited for autumn, I don't know if you can tell from how excited I'm getting over loungewear. But I just thought this was really fab, really nice pieces. So I picked those up. And then this is the little matching sweatshirt. So it's just a plain crew neck sweatshirt with long sleeves and cuffs at the bottom. It does look like it's slightly cropped in style. Um, and it's got a little waistband at the bottom. It looks like the, the front is slightly shorter than the back. And I, they obviously go really well together. And these are also part of the H&M Conscious range. They are made from 55% organic cotton. Um, so I will show you what those look like on. So this is the little loungewear set. Um, so it's <laughs> quite long, obviously, but I knew it was gonna be quite long from five foot three. Um, I don't know whether it's, again, a bit big. Um, it's so comfy and so cozy, and I really love the color. I just don't know, I just don't know. I don't know what to think about this, really. Let me know what you think. Um, it's, <laughs> I've, had, I've had to pull them up so high because of how long the trousers are. I don't know if like normal people would have them up here. Maybe I'm just too small, maybe I'm just too short for H&M. Who knows? But if I just tuck that in, it looks a bit, um, probably looks a slight bit better. If I tuck that in, I'll just show you the length of the trousers. Now I've got them on with my emu slippers. This will be my uh, <laughs> standard look in the autumn winter. I do love the color and I think it looks really cozy and I love the ribbed effect. Um, I just, I don't know, what do you think? Does it look quite nice on? Obviously, at home it doesn't need to be a fashion statement, but that's 
if you can see Nala, she's literally on the floor there, by the way. If you can see like a bundle of fur. And that's my little dog. She's decided to fall asleep. Obviously, I'm boring her during this video. Um, I hope you're not boring you as well. Um, it's quite long. The trousers are very long, so I probably want to get them shortened. This sweatshirt's really nice, actually. It's really lovely, soft material. I can imagine I would be so warm in this in the autumn months. And let me know what you think. Does it look nice on me or not? And this is the jumpy kind of get the colour um, here. It's just really sort of a slouchy lounge dress set. Not much more to say about that. So um, I just saw this on the H&M website. It's a dog tooth, hound tooth, dog tooth, hound's tooth. They're the same thing. Or have I just made that? It's hound's tooth, not a thing. Have I just made that up? I don't know. Anyway, it's like a black and white sort of checked style uh, umbrella. And it's just, I'm not going to put it up because I am very superstitious and I believe that it will give me bad luck. Uh, but mine broke and when it was hurling it down with rain the other day, I didn't have an umbrella. So I thought I'd pick another one up whilst I saw this. And this one was $7.99. So another item I picked up was a jumper. This feels so nice and snuggly. Oh, I really like this. I hope this looks nice on. So this is a beautiful sort of camel beigey mild print jumper and it's got a contrast cream bottom and edge of the sleeves. It does look a bit oversized but this just feels so snuggly and I think this is going to be great to wear just with a pair of jeans. This again is from the H&M Conscious range, it's 52% recycled polyester from post-consumer waste which is fabulous. Um, oh, it just feels so cosy. This feels amazing. So again, you'll see what that looks like on in the next clip. Okay, so this is the beige contrast jumper. Now, it's too big for me, <laughs> um, but you can kind of see what it would look like. I think this would look really nice if it was kind of the right size. Um, the sleeves are quite baggy, but I guess I could just roll them up if I wanted a more sort of casual look. Let me just roll those up quickly. Maybe a bit of something a bit like that. I love this contrast detail. I love this cream panel at the bottom. I think that just looks so nice. It looks a lot more expensive than how much it actually is. So I'm going to see if I can get a different size than this. Okay, so my next item is my uh, second leather print piece. This is a large collared shirt. Now, it looked really good on the model on the website. I don't know what it's going to look like on me and if I'm going to love it or hate it. It's probably a bit of a marmite piece, this. So let me know what you think of it down below. But it is this shirt now it has the most flamboyant collar which obviously does sit flat it's got a massive collar and it's kind of a peter pan collar actually and it's just just a standard shirt really and i thought this with blue jeans and some boots will look really cool so i will try that on and show you what that looks like okay so this is the little leopard print shirt it's got a really nice collar detail here um, I've just obviously tucked it in because I tuck everything in. If you've seen any of my hauls before, you know I tuck everything in. Um, it's got quite a nice detail. It's got kind of puffy sleeves, which I don't know if they look the most flattering on me. Um, so they are sort of tighter at the cuffs and then they kind of poof out a bit. But I kind of think that is the style of the shirt. I obviously pair this with black jeans to make it a bit smarter. But if I wanted to make it a bit more casual, I just put on blue jeans. Um, I do quite like this. Let me know what you think. The next item is just a plain black hoodie. I was feeling obviously in the cozy vibes when I was putting this order together and I just don't own any hoodies and for dog walks especially I think this would be really handy in the autumn winter. And H&M at such reasonable prices I thought I would definitely just pick one up from there. So this is just a standard black hoodie. It's such a thick lovely material. Long sleeves again with cuffs. And it's got the little drawstring neck pieces. This was $17.99, so really good value, and it looks like a really good shape. So that was that one. This is kind of the main reason why I bought all of this stuff. It was for this left print raincoat. And I don't own a raincoat, and I thought this would be a really good addition to my wardrobe, especially in the rainy months in autumn. It's really obviously lightweight, so you need to layer something underneath, and that's kind of the main reason I bought the hoodie. I thought the hoodie, with this over the top, it's gonna to look quite chic. And just some black jeans and some wellies. So I love this. Um, I will show you what it looks like on next. Okay, so this is the black hoodie. I don't know if you can see it at all on, but it's got obviously a hood. 
Um, I've never been a hoodie wearer. This is a bit weird seeing myself in a hoodie. Um, I don't think I've worn a hoodie since my <laughs> university days when I was in the cheerleading squad. Um, we used to wear like all matching hoodies and outfits. Um, but my vision for this was to wear with black jeans like I have on and the, the leopard print raincoat. So let me pop that on now. And this is the raincoat, which I actually love this raincoat. Again, I don't know if I could have done with a smaller size. And that's the crossbody bag. What that looks like, so I think that looks quite cool actually. <laughs> Definitely a good dog walking out. But what I do love about this is that you get a little bag to put it in. So if you are out and about, you can just carry this in your bag um, and you always have a raincoat on you. So, love this. And then picked up a, another dress. So I love wearing dresses in the autumn, especially with some tights and some boots. I just think they make, I just love wearing dresses in the autumn. So I picked up this gorgeous little um, frilly dress, I would call it. So it's this beautiful green colour, it's got this high neck. It has poofed sleeves and a little skirt that goes really out at the sides. Um, does it contain pockets? No, I don't think it does. Um, and the back is, oh I didn't realise, the back is completely open. Um, and it has this cute little bow at the back as well, that's a really sweet little detail. And it has a fully lined skirt. So there is the black lining underneath. I just absolutely love this colour. A lot of the items on that I've seen recently for autumn, winter are this kind of green colour. So I absolutely love this. I know sort of sage green was a colour for this summer. And obviously it's turning into winter as well. Now this was one of my most expensive items, but I think it's because it's like there's so much extra stuff that's got into this. Um, it's got a really thick, fully lined skirt, um, and it's just loads of detail, really. So this was $39.99, but if you're a member of H&M, you actually get like special discounts and things, so I actually managed to get 25% off my favourite item, and I just chose this because it was the most expensive thing I'd bought, so this was then only $29.99, so I think for £30 it's not too bad. So I'll show you what this looks like on as well. So this is the green little dress. Um, I actually quite think it looks quite cute like this. Um, I like it with bare legs and it's kind of quite dressy but you can also then like dress it down as well and it can be quite casual. So I just popped it on my Gucci belt just because if I have the belt off it's kind of like a sack. I think um, I definitely probably go down a size in this to be fair but I actually prefer it with the belt. I think it looks really quite cool with the belt. So just pop the belt back on. And that means you can kind of like, and you can kind of like tuck it up slightly. Um, so it's got a high neck and it's got these puffed sleeves, which again, you can kind of do how you'd like. Um, it's a really nice length actually. It's just above my knee, which I think that it's quite chic. Now I have popped it on with these little black boots. So let me just tilt you down. So you can see what the boots look like. I don't know if I'm a very big fan of these. Um, let me know if you like the boots. Maybe it'll look better with tights on because it's maybe a bit of a contrast between my pale legs. I do really like this dress. I think I'll be keeping this. Let me know what you think. It's kind of like a little tutu actually. I then also picked up another dress in a sort of similar green colour. Now this is a little cotton v-neck with long sleeves. It's got this beautiful belt in the middle and lovely brown buttons as well, long sleeves with elasticated cuffs and it's definitely ideal for transitioning from summer into autumn. Wear it obviously with bare legs and some sandals or with some chunky boots and some tights as well when it gets even colder. It's made from 100% cotton, finally found it on the tag. So that is that, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour, I love this green colour and I think with my eye colour and my dark hair, this might suit me. I've never really worn anything this colour before. And then finally, this is definitely a bit out of the uh, box for me, it's a denim jumpsuit. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, I don't know how it's going to look odd, it might look horrendous, but it's a completely denim jumpsuit or boiler suit, um, however you would describe it. So it's got sort of three quarter lengthy sleeves, it's got a tie waist belt, it's got a v-neck and this lovely collar, and it is a full length on the leg. So I thought this would be great to take me from summer into autumn, winter, um, probably more autumn, and it's a really thick, nice denim material. Um, this was also from the H&M Conscious range, and this one says it's 100% organic cotton, 
so really really good um, I just love that initiative that H&M are doing um, and now it's back um, and I will try this on I just think this with some flat shoes might look really nice so I'll try this on for you all and see what we think of that okay so this is what the denim jumpsuit looks like on now I love the idea of this I think if it fit properly it would look quite chic actually and I think with a pair of sort of nude heels um, I think this could look quite nice however it's really big I don't know what's with H&M sizing but if I like like how big that is on me it's actually ridiculous like I know you have to obviously tie it up but like the waistband is like halfway down my bum <laughs> so um, I just wouldn't obviously need a different size I need a smaller size um, I don't know what size I picked up in this actually, I'll let you know when I take it off. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of see what it would look like if it fit me, by how I've cinched it in. What it would look like full length, hopefully you can see that. Obviously it's what it's kind of wide leg, which I do actually kind of like, but I just think it's a bit shapeless. I would need a smaller size, but it does nothing for my figure as is. So let me know what you think of this, should I try and get a smaller size, um, or do you just not think it suits me at all? So that's it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like seeing a bit of an insight into what H&M has new in at the moment. So that's everything, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like down below. I love to receive comments, I reply to all the comments I receive, so please do leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe because I have so many videos up and coming. I'm doing kind of a marathon film today so I've got so much content coming up. Because obviously I've picked up so much stuff today and if I like it all, fingers crossed I do, I'm going to need to have a massive wardrobe clear out. I'm going to be filming the process of me transitioning my wardrobe from summer into autumn winter. So I hope you enjoy that video. So do subscribe if you want to see that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.